Hi friends, welcome once again in another episode of arithmetic progression. In this question, we are going to find out the total number of terms in the arithmetic progression. So let me read the question here. Find the number of terms in each of the following APs, right? And the first our AP is seven comma thirteen comma nineteen comma up to up to two hundred and five. And our third is sorry, uh, second arithmetic progression is eighteen comma fifteen and half half comma thirteen comma up to minus forty seven. It has been decreased, right? So in both of the cases, we need to find out the total number of terms. How many number of terms there are? right we need to find out the number of terms right value of n so before proceeding uh, l let me write all the given information here uh, I'm solving the first question now here so we have got the first term right so first term is generally represented by the a that's why uh, that's a and the common difference we can easily find out by differentiating uh, the di uh, finding the difference between the two terms two consecutive terms so I'm taking this uh, third term and the f uh, second term right so third term minus second term right we get the common difference that is uh, 19 minus 13 is equals to 6 we get the common difference also and now uh, here the last term is given right last term or you can say the nth term right I don't know why I'm telling this nth term a n equals to 205 because I don't know the value of the n means how much term it is I don't know I need to find out the value of this n it may be 40th term, it may be 60th term, it may be 70th term, it may be uh, suppose 24th term, it may be 34th term. I don't know how much term it is, 205. That I need to find out the nth term, right? So, uh, now we are just applying the formula uh, that we have recently learned. That is uh, nth term formula of an arithmetic progression. The nth term formula of an arithmetic progression is equals to the first term. Uh, uh, plus total mi number of term minus one and this whole divided by common difference right so here in this question uh, in, in this question total uh, there are four variables see you can see easily uh, the nth term the first term number of total number of terms and the common difference in this question what we have get we have get the last term uh, last term or the nth term we have get the first term also right and uh, we have get the common difference also but we don't know the value of this n so since in this question there are four variables and we know the three variables we can easily find out the fourth one that is n so I'm just putting all the values and I'll be getting all the uh, required answer right uh, so here yeah, the uh, nth term is 205 right and the first term is here 7 and the number of terms we don't know so that's why I'm writing as as it is here and the common difference we know that is 6 so 205 right it is here positive so when it will go this side it will be minus so that's a minus 7 and this 6 will multiply this n that's why it will be 6 n and this 6 will divide this minus 1 that's why it will be minus 6 right now 205 minus 7 that's equals to 198 and this is minus 7 when it will go it will come left side it will be plus 6 and equals to 6 n right overall we get the 6 n is equals to now 198 plus 6 that is 204 that's why we are getting the value of n that is 204 divided by 6 right so now I'm going to find the value of n simply uh, by dividing 204 by 6 right so 6 3 is 18 right we get the value of 2 and then this 4 will come and 6 4 is 24 and we cancel this uh, so simply we get 6 34 is 204 means there are the value of n 34 there are right in this arithmetic position there are 34 number of terms altogether right so this is 34th term right 205 is the 34th term so like this we can easily find out the value of uh, number of terms uh, in an arithmetic position right uh, from this question from the anthem formula we can easily f uh, calculate uh, sorry we can easily generate an anthem formula also uh, directly for the uh, directly for the number of terms right uh, so how to generate this formula uh, let me do one by one what we've got over here n term is equals to a plus n minus 1 times t now by solving this uh, this relation we can easily find out the number of terms in the arithmetic progression and we can generate the formula so I'm just writing here a n and we can do in this method also so it will be a now this n will be multiplied by this so it will be n d minus d right we need to find out here the number of terms that is and we need to find out that's why I'm keeping it here and rest of it I'm taking the left side right so it will be now a n minus a now it will be plus d because it's in minus equals to n d we need to va we need the value of n that's why I have to keep this n 
and rest of this I am dividing this uh, uh, means uh, to hold this I am dividing by the D so I will get n is equals to a n minus a whole uh, plus D whole divided by D right and finally what I will get I will get the value of n is equals to a n minus a divided by D plus 1 right this is the formula for the number of terms in an arithmetic progression right directly we can use this formula to find the number of terms in any arithmetic progression easily we can find out right so let me check this formula whether it is going to be right or not for this arithmetic progression right so uh, here I'm just using this right number of terms n is equals to now a n minus a so a n we have no means the nth term we know that is 205 right 205 minus a that is first term that is equals to 7 whole divided by d that's the common difference we have got that is 6 plus 1 so 205 and minus 7 that is 198 whole divided by 6 plus 1 right and now I'm dividing 198 by 6 how much I'm getting let me calculate 6 3 is 18 minus 1 and again again 6 3 is 18 right so I cancel this I am actually subtracting over here so 198 33 is a sorry 6 33 is a 198 so 33 and this plus 1 is equals to 34 again we get the same value 34 and 34 it means uh, again same that there are 34 number of terms in the arithmetic progression so you can directly use this formula also or you wants to do with the same uh, the formula that you are learning since very long that's anthem formula so both are the actually same thing it will be a little bit quicker right it will be a little bit faster and it will be slow any method you feel easy you can use any method and, and uh, calculate this uh, uh, the uh, so total number of terms in an arithmetic progression so I'll suggest you to do, do this for the question uh, I'm not doing this and you'll get the answer here about 27 right so there are 27 number of terms in this arithmetic progression try to find out you're getting exactly matched or not if you feel any problem you can mail me right and comment me I'll be happy bye bye